From iRobot to Terminator, we've been inundated with the idea that machines are slowly taking over the world and are probably set to replace humankind entirely in due time. This sort of chatter within medicine and particularly amongst the field of radiology creates a dialogue that radiologists are in danger of becoming obsolete and AI is set to rule us all. So what exactly is the future for the profession? Is it actually the end? G'day guys, Jazz here and welcome to another video. So let's chat about artificial intelligence and radiology. Firstly, one of the biggest misconceptions is that radiologists just kind of sit around in dark rooms all day, kind of don't do a whole lot, just have a look at a few x-rays here and again, and then, you know, go for coffee. But in reality, we do a lot more than that. Firstly, the majority of studies that we're reporting are usually far from simple. But on top of that, you know, we perform a wide variety of procedures. We chat to other clinicians, whether it be referrers or whether we're called calling clinicians to relay some urgent results to them. And then we're also heavily involved within multi-disciplinary team meetings where we try and attend, you know, whatever department wants to have. They usually run, you know, one or many MDTs. We always usually provide a radiologist to go to all of those meetings to try and help out with that uh, set of patients. And then on top of that, we're also usually involved with quite a bit of research as well. Now, AI's impact on radiology can be best compared to the introduction of autopilot to commercial flight. Now, as modern flight systems have developed, many of the traditionally human-led safety checks such as collision avoidance systems have become automated. Pilots are able to utilize the autopilot, allowing it to handle all the tedious and repetitive tasks. But what happens when they encounter unforeseen malfunction or when they see a, like a massive storm coming in on the horizon? Well, the pilot is always in the cockpit ready to take over when they need to. And I also think at the end of the day, very few passengers would be happy to get onto a plane with no human pilot sitting in the cockpit, even though the autopilot systems probably do a majority of the kind of flying and you know safety checks and processes in day-to-day -day flying. So if you consider all the tasks that a radiologist performs on a day-to-day -day basis, it would far outweigh the capabilities of our current technological systems. Currently, radiology AI systems are really only able to perform kind of single tasks function for example kind of image recognition so say you know detecting lung nodules on a CT chest now anybody watching this video who's a radiologist or a radiologist in training would know that the lung nodules are only a part of the search that we perform whenever we're reporting a CT chest and on top of that we're looking at all the other parenchymal abnormalities we're looking at the mediastinum the cardiac structures you're looking at all the soft tissues the bones the base of the neck the upper abdomen etc so if you think about it the actual looking for lung nodules is a very minor kind of of, uh, part of the actual search. Now at the present time, if AI was properly integrated within our current reporting systems, it would help radiologists to go through certain cases quicker. And it could also potentially flag cases with pertinent pathology or you know significant findings that would need to be normally relayed to the treating clinicians quite urgently. And if they're flagged, they come to the top of the list, the radiologist can quickly have a look and be like, all right, this is important. Give the clinician a, a quick phone call, let them know what's going on. And as a result, the overall kind of patient and care component of what we do is significantly improved. Now with those kind of cases getting flagged by the AI system, that would allow the actual rate human radiologists kind of more time to, to increase their attention to detail, particularly in all the complex or very complex cases. Then we could also integrate the clinical story in more detail, you know, looking up the notes that have been written by all the teams that have been managing the patient to give ourselves a bit more insight as to what could be explaining all the findings that we're seeing on the imaging. And then on top of that, they'd also allow time to look up literature and other kind of papers and stuff to you know get a bit more insight as well. Then next we can look forward to the utilization of AI to extract discrete data from the images that are provided to it and that data would be reproducible and quantifiable. Achieving exact and accurate measurements means that specific pixel data can be leveraged to unlock various tools and more in-depth data analysis and that overall will allow more accurate reporting of images by the reporting human radiologist. And I also know from personal experience that if I didn't have to measure every single one of those lung nodules, I'd be much happier during the day as well. And lastly, one of the most exciting developments we can expect is the shift from active to kind of proactive detection of various uh, medical pathologies. So rather than just looking for a specific diagnosis to meet the patient's current clinical presentation, AI will allow the radiologist to discover additional pathology that was previously unknown. Now in that context, I don't mean that the radiologists normally aren't looking at every single thing on the set of films, we do, but having the quantifiable data available to us, it will allow us to 
kind of increase the risk stratification for patients based on you know other conditions that weren't like actively being analyzed in the current presentation so you know whether that be the you know the bone status or something like that you could assess you know the degree of osteopenia or osteoporosis or something like that and the data itself could probably risk stratify you know what's the risk of this patient having you know a crush fracture within the next you know five years or something like that or another context could be uh, you know if you got a CT of the chest we uh, we always see that there is you know calcified plaque along the coronary arteries but to assess the degree of actual narrowing of the arteries themselves on a non-dedicated study is quite hard so if you could use the data from you know AI then we could provide that those you know the data sets within the reports just as a further part of that risk stratification which I think would be quite good and overall uh, the the patient gets significantly more value out of uh, firstly the scan and then also the report that's been provided. So at the end of the day, everyone will have their own opinion, but I don't think radiologists will be getting replaced by AI anytime soon. However, by embracing AI and adapting to these changing times, I think we will see our jobs transform and an overall increase the, in the quality of patient care. And the only radiologists that should be worried about losing their jobs to AI are those that aren't willing to incorporate it into their practice. So guys, that brings me to the end of the video. I hope you found it useful. If you did please consider giving it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you're new and i'll catch you in the next one cheers